In today's YouTube video, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite blitzing concepts in all of Madden 22. Now, this is actually going to work from multiple different formations. However, I'm going to teach it today out of the nickel triple. And the reason why is because the nickel triple, this is just my personal opinion, is the best blitzing defense in this game. You're going to be able to pretty much guarantee your pressure against any formation. The blitz angles themselves are very effective. The other thing that's really cool about this formation is just the standard little four to three to four man pass rush is actually really, really good as well. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask you to subscribe. It's completely free to subscribe to this channel. I also wanted to let you know that if you want to get my full defensive ebook on the nickel triple formation, um, you can actually do that by joining our Patreon. I'm going to put a link to the Patreon membership in the description below. The cool part about the Patreon is you don't only get access to the nickel triple ebook, you're also going to get access to all 15 of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to get access to everything, it's kind of a one stop shop uh, for everything that you need to get better at this game and a cool part is it's only ten dollars a month most ebooks are 20 25 40 dollars sometimes the cool part about this is you're going to get 15 of them for just ten dollars a month and you also are going to get access to any updates to those guides we typically update our patreon members probably two to three times a week with new material either new guides themselves or new updates to new guides or if i feel the need to just drop a quick tip that you can apply from anything we'll put it in the membership as well so it's just a great place for you to be able to become a better madden player now the concept that we're going to be talking about today is the nickel blitz 2. now the nickel blitz 2 you can find this out of nickel 335 will for example nickel normal nickel 245 but you can also find this play out of the nickel triple and i think it's actually best out of the nickel triple so what we're going to do here um, is i'm just going to come out in a bunch bunch concept the other thing that's really cool about this cover too is you get two vertical hooks and the vertical hook zone is the best zone in the game for defending the running back and the wheel routes and stuff like that so what we're going to do is come out in our nickel blitz too now from a coverage perspective what i like to do with this is i actually really value the vertical hooks so we're going to go ahead and press we're going to shade our coverage down and then we're going to re-cloud flat that outside cornerback on the left we're going to play man coverage on the corner or the we're going to man up the solo receiver and then i like to go ahead and user this guy in this defense and basically i know that if there's any crossing route from the bunch side that is like a, a verticals crosser i'm going to carry that and then we're going to qb contain so you see this is what the play looks like at the snap of the ball what you're going to notice is that these wheel routes are not going to be as open and as you can see the pressure is going to come in it typically comes in off the corner um but it can also come on it can also come in over here now if you don't want to use it with a safety and you just want to kind of play a cover two shell that's fine you just make sure um just make sure that you're using the linebacker uh right here jackson and you want to kind of stand right here okay so you see how we're standing we're going to kind of do a quick little swerve at the snap of the ball and then we're going to go to guard the rest of play so as you see right here there's the pressure and you see how good it is now what makes this pressure so good is not just what it can do if they're sending five out, but what makes this pressure truly special is what it can do whenever they block a running back. So if they block a running back here, what you're going to notice is typically this contain is going to loop around the edge and is going to come in completely free. The other thing that you're going to typically have, especially if they, most people aren't going to block a running back, most people are going to block a tight end. Well, the problem with that is two things. Number one, most bunch offenses center around wheel routes to the tight end or gun tight centers around wheel routes to the tight end. So the beauty of this is we have a vertical hook of stops. We have a vertical hook and a flat on the left to take care of the running back if he goes on a, on a, on a route. And then we also now have, you know, a lot of freedom on this back side of the field. So in a situation like that, let's say they're running something like this. Well, what you're going to notice here is this tight end is oftentimes going to get, get glitched out by the pressure. Now, sometimes he will kind of chip it and then it will come in. But a lot of times what you'll see, and this is where you might want to stand a little bit more over here. But a lot of times what you'll see with this is if they block their tight end, this pressure is going to loop around the edge. As you can see right there, that's kind of a really um, good example of what you're going to get with this pressure. So again, let me just jump into replay here and show this to you. But what you'll see here is he's just going to loop around. And he's going to come in so you notice how we get that double team right there and this looper comes around the edge completely free the other cool part about this is let's say that they max protect so they're going to block their tight end and they're going to block their running back now 
And what you'll notice in that scenario is a lot of times he'll loop around or he'll chip off the edge. Um, you get pretty decent consistency with this blitz is all I'm getting at. Now, if you want, like, you know, superb consistency, you can go ahead and blitz the linebacker in the um, in the gap there, that left side linebacker. Uh, but typically this will be fine. You see how that contain just continues to loop around. And it's going to be a probably 80 to 90% of the time he's going to loop around, even if they max protect. Pretty much 100% of the time he's going to come in free if they don't block anybody. Um, or you're going to get that B-gap pressure from that defensive end so that's really the key with this um now let's say for example they want to go like if they're in bunch let's say that they want to audible um let's just say in this example they want to audible to bunch tight end we're going to treat it like it's it's we're going to treat it like it's bunch tight end but it's actually trips tight end notice what happens here notice that this cornerback is going to follow and what that does is it's actually going to put this guy in the flat so what we want to do with this now that we have in, in this situation what I tend to like to do is actually go ahead and put this guy in a purple zone. Um, and then I'm going to shade down. And then I'm going to put a, re put the cloud flat over there. My zones are glitched. Uh, good old Madden 22. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll actually take this guy on the backside and man him up on the tight end or put him in an inside third. So now you see the reason we like this is because you don't really have to flip your play. You know, the, the formation is going to flip itself. So in an event that it's PA boot over, I'm going to block seven here. And you'll see that this looper will play, play very well and contain and kind of force them to have to play from the pocket where then you can cover, um, you know, a variety across the field. Now, if you if they start in trips tight end, so let's say they, you know, let's say they start in trips tight end like this, you can flip it. It's not a, it's not a problem to flip it. What you want to notice, though, is this right here. This guy is now in the vert hook um, as opposed to the blitzer. Okay, so you see how they're moving. So what you can easily do is just base align it and then just slide him in just like that, contain him, and now you basically have the same concept coming backside. Now this one, if you if they're running a lot of play action, it's not as good in terms of like trips tied in specifically. We have other blitzes in our ebook for that. But if they're not, if they're just blocking the tight end, it's a great little blitz. If you want to make sure that this comes in against a trips with a blocked uh, with a blocked running back. What you can do is just, again, globally blitz there. Uh, you're just going to blitz your linebackers. It just makes the consistency significantly better. Um, and then you're going to kind of stand. You can either stand here or you can stand here. And what you should see here is we're going to come off the right edge. So very, very good little blitz here. This is a great concept. You're going to be able to apply a lot of pressure. And the cool part with this is also, like, you have the best zones in the game. So let's say you want to play a little coverage. It's not too hard to do that out of this. All you have to basically do is you're going to take this guy right here, put him in a middle third. You're then going to take this backside. Um, this backside, I think, is actually makes a lot more sense for you to just use her this backside vert hook. And then you can kind of Mabel over here on this other side because you could put the defensive tackle and a vert hook over there. So you see this is kind of what it looks like. You're still going to blitz three. If you want to bluff blitz the nose guard, you certainly can do that. And then you're just going to kind of use her over here. So now they're you know blocking everybody, and now you have really, really good coverage, as you can see. And the sheds are really, really good out of nickel triple. So that is a little two-play mini scheme out of nickel blitz two. I've actually been running this a lot, having a lot of success with this. One other last little piece of advice for this that you can do if you want to really get kind of glitchy against them, especially against Bunch, move that linebacker out, put him on a contain. I did a video on that a couple of days ago. And what you'll see right here is now you should get double edge pressure or gap peed or something. You're going to get some really good pressure is all I'm trying to get at. So you can do this as well. So, I mean, and, and even if they audible, let's say they audible over here and you flip your play, still same thing. Just bring this guy over here, contain on that blitz. You can put that guy on a blitz. You can man this guy up. And then now this guy, you know, you can have him down here uh, to be able to play like a curl flat zone. You can roll this guy if you want to play out of man coverage. Um, I would put this guy in an inside corner and not use zone drops. Why? Because he's going to basically bag the number three receiver. And then really all you have to worry about is if the tight end goes vertical, you're going to guard him. Most of the time, they're not going to send him on a route. And if they do, it's off of this play action. And you see how fast the pressure can come in. So that's just a little pro tip for you. Uh, I want to thank you for watching the video. If you want to get the full uh, ebook join our patreon membership i can't stress to you how good of a deal it really is uh, people i got an email the other day from somebody saying 
that the level of depth and detail and actual um, you know real teaching we do on pretty much everything from what zones to do what to what zone drops to use to what formations to use to what coverages to use against what formations we try to really dissect this game a little bit deeper uh, in our patreon membership so if you want that in-depth stuff that's really going to help you advance your game to the next level i would encourage you to join our patreon membership it's really cheap too it's only ten dollars a month and you can cancel it whenever you would like to. It's a great way to support the channel as well. So if you want to sign up for that, head on down to the description of the video and you can click the link that I put down there. Thanks for watching. And if you want to join the Patreon, just head on down to that description and check out that link that I put down there for you.